Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going watching Q2 of the Weekly Contest 260 Grid Game. So, this one was a very hard one. I thought, uh, for especially for Q2, I think there are a couple of things that I would say. Um, and the first is hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, especially if you'd like doing contests. Um, a lot of people discuss the contest in my Discord. Um, a lot of them are smarter than me, maybe. So, uh, yeah, come check it out and just. You know, hang out with nerds. Uh, okay, so for this good game, I think, honestly, I, um, when I was doing this as a virtual contest, I probably thought about this a little bit in the, um, sorry, uh, but I'm thinking about this in a meta kind of way in that this was a Q2, right? So you think to yourself, eh, okay, how hard can a Q2 be? So I, I, for that reason, I wrote out the uh, dynamic programming I would say that if I didn't have any context, meaning that I just got in this problem, I might not have known that it is not dynamic programming. And maybe the constraints, they make it so big so that it doesn't matter. But, um, but that's what I was thinking about. It. First, it was, I was like, is this a dynamic program problem? If it's a dynamic program problem, how do I do it, right? Um, and then the second thing I noticed well, I mean, I noticed this early on, and you can watch me solve a live in the virtual contest next, but I think I just didn't put it together. It took me a little bit of time to put it together, about seven minutes in total. But once you put it together, it, it's not so bad, which is that, okay. Um, you know, instead of, um, <clears throat> so basically, we are the first robot, and we're trying to think about the second robot, what moves it can think, right? Um, if you think about how all these red red um, red lines go through on these problems, then that means that if well, first of all, let's think: what if we're the second robot and you're, we're just given an arbitrary shape, right? But what can we do? Well, we only have two paths. We only we go either um, we only have two optimal paths. Right? We either go all the way on the top, or going all the way to the right and then down, or going down and then going down one in the, from the first cell and then going on to the way to the right. If you think about it, it doesn't make sense to go any other way. Um, so you only have two paths. The reason why it doesn't make sense to go any other way is, for example, uh, and maybe I'll think, mm, now let me just draw an example real quick. But for example, if, this is so weird, okay. But yeah, let's say you have all this stuff, right? You know, this is our, our map, and, <clears throat> and you know, as robot 2, would, would it ever make sense to do this and then this, right? The answer is no, because, because it means that, because um, robot 1 would have already did something that got rid of some sub right? So if the robot, like you can maybe do a brute force in your head of what robot 1 could do, but the robot one, if it goes down this way on the, on column the third column, then then all then all this is zero, right? So it almost never makes sense um, to to kind of go down in any other way for the robot two, except for at at the last column or the first column, because yeah, like for example, let's say we have another one that's like this. Uh, Oops. Let's say it, it, the path we want to take is this. We always want to take this, this instead, because, um, yeah, because it does. There's almost there's no scenario in which you don't want to take that, right? I think that's the the focus. And once you realize that, once you make that observation, um, then you can rethink about how to do it, right? Then then basically it becomes getting this. You have the the two paths, either <clears throat> the upper, you know, going all the way to the right and then down, or dropping down on the first column, right? So first or last column. And in that case, um, as robot one, now knowing that these are robot two's only good reasonable move and the optimal path, as robot one, we think, okay, what column do I drop down such that it splits it up in a way such that robot two has you know, we'll get the min, right? So basically, if, if you separate, um, so basically, for example, for here, 
you separate um, them to two corners of, of values. Um, hmm. Okay, let me go back to the drawing again. Um, so for example, if, if you had something like, um, if you had something like this, then, you know, you have, um, as well by two, you can either choose all of these numbers or all of these numbers, right? And they will always choose the max because that's obvious. Why would you choose anything not max? So yeah, so so then here as well by one, knowing that they would choose the max, you just brute force every column to drop down and then taking the min of the max. And that's basically what I did here. Um, you, you have to do some pre-processing to make, to make it linear because um, n is five times 10 to the fourth, so you cannot do n square. Um, so that's basically what I did here. I For the top, I, put for, I did a prefix sum from the back, suffix sum if you will, and then on the bottom, I did prefix sum from the left, and and then that's pretty much it. You take the best score. Um, the score that the robot can get is either um, you know upper right or bottom left, right? So then here we, we take the better of the scores and that's basically what we have here. Um, yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. You could watch me solve it live next. It's a virtual contest, so I think I talk a little bit more than I do usually. So let me know, watch it on the fastest speed you have to. Um, and I will see you later. Bye bye. Uh, maybe I'll come back to it and try to find it on the afterwards. Okay, that's it. Uh, number of points in this is RC. Move to the right or down. Okay, it's two by n, but they're going to move right or down. Okay, so they basically make one move and that's it. Okay. Move to do do collect all the stuff. Pointing. Second row by collect point. Know that the point might intersect each other. Hmm. So basically, this board gets played twice. Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. I, mean, I feel like this is this has a silly answer, um, but I don't see one yet. Oh, I see. Because this is a two by n grid, so you can only make them move once. Is it greedy twice? Does greedy twice work? I suppose so. Mm, I don't know if I could prove that though. Oh. I wonder if there's a tie. Hmm. That's a little question. Okay, so I, I think it's definitely agree twice. We can think about how to minimize score, which is basically either the so the second robot, I'm talking instead of just typing, to, so maybe I'm not really in true contest mode, but what I think we'll do is that we have to choose between the upper right corner and the lower left corner. So that's, let's do that. Maybe I should do that in the explanation. I know this is a virtual contest, so it's a little bit weird that I'm not like 100% focused on speed. Um, so yeah. Right. Okay. 
So basically, we have to choose a column to go down. So okay, let's do that. I is the column that we go down. We can now the score. Can we make it up now? Okay. The score in this case will be the upper right. So everything to the right of this. Or okay, yeah, this is such an awkward problem. But okay, how do I want to? And I know it's just prefix sum or something like that. But it's fine. Um, okay. Top, top is equal to two. Well, we have to do this. And So then now this is top of i plus one. So we want the maximum of these two. Weapons for M is one. Okay. I guess that's right. Okay, let's give it some name. What a that's kind of hard problem for Q2 to be honest. Uh, hey everybody, thanks for watching. I'm here in Lisbon, so a little bit awkward, but eh, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. And hit the like button, hit the follow button, hit the subscribe button, and join me on Discord. I will see you later. Bye-bye.